Welcome back to Polybridge 2. So I've been having so much fun and I'm so glad this game is out. There's so many new challenges. We just finally got past the air show in the middle of World 2. We're riding some momentum and now we need to play a map called Momentum. All right, so this is the jump we have and we've got a budget of 24,000 bucks. That seems like a lot. So let's see if I can't just do it like relatively cheap. I think this is good. Come on, baby. Get that momentum! <laughs> oh god, it, it it collapsed right here. I guess that's also where like we didn't put the little triangles and remember triangles are our friends. So Mr. Jumper. And does he have the momentum? Yes he does. Easiest level of the entire second world, I think. Now if we chop a little bit off, we can get third. And honestly, the best place to do that is steel. I want to see if that actually will hold right there. He's going down. Yeah, we didn't even need that steel beam. Never mind. We did. We didn't. <laughs> we did, but we didn't. <laughs> it broke. And we're $700 away, and we got the little asterisk for having breaks. 11000 dollars Ooh! Alright, we'll put this here. And maybe that'll keep it from baking breaking? Baking? Ooh! I tried to do it a little bit different. But I don't think we saved too much dollars. But we didn't get a break. How much money? How much money are we off by? Dang it! 60 bucks! Yeah, we're stuck at $60. But we're moving onwards. The string theory. What does that mean? What does the string theory mean? We have two pieces of steel. So I'm guessing that what we're gonna need to do is kind of do something like this. We're, we were given cables, right? And we only have 14 pieces of wood? Guess this is gonna be 12 right here. Well, will it work? We need a triangle definitely here. This will use three of them up. Oh God, and we're over budget? You're kidding me. What? Get some budget back, we'll use non-reinforced roads and then maybe a few more cables. But that puts us over. Oh, you're kidding me. I think this is the first time we'll be over budget. Every now and then we just come across a bridge that breaks my little brain. Ooh, steady now. Steady now. Okay, that worked. But we're 4,000 bucks. We'll just have to press on and this will be one that haunts us that we'll have to come back to. This one is called Dip and Draw. We've got an ambulance and a scooter and it looks like there's two hydraulics. So it's called Dip and Draw. Do you think we could just make a ramp? We don't- oh, we do have hydraulics. Because we gotta go under this, and we gotta beat this bridge. I'm thinking we do a drawbridge. Oh gosh, that's gonna be really awkward, isn't it? We could do a push drawbridge, if that'll hold. Contract, we need to expand it by 50%. Mmm, not gonna work, unless of course we did something like this too. Now we just gotta see if this holds. I'm nervous. Well, we could do this. Oh, wow. That actually worked, and then we did the bridge the wrong way. Or it just broke, or it just didn't have the strength. And then motorcycle didn't. So we're actually very close and relatively under budget. What if we tried steel? We have springs. Oh! No way. No way! This is one of those maps that I'm like, I'm not gonna get this for like 38 attempts. I think this was the second attempt in the original design. And we're in the top. Well, there's 10 players, right? But we're in the top 10. <laughs> well, you know what they say, moving onwards. This one is called weight distribution. We've got three vehicles. One needs to get down here, which is the big ambulance. And then the other two. Why is this thing up here? If we don't have any ropes, we don't have any hydraulics. We've only got six roads. Wait a minute. What if we just went in a straight line? Okay, he goes first, then him than him. Are you kidding me? Well, just for science, does that bridge even hold an ambulance? That guy makes it no problem. This guy actually... Oh, it... Uh, wait a minute. We need to use a spring. So his weight causes him to fall. Oh, that's a little too much of a spring. <laughs> he goes the wrong spot. Okay, but this is the right idea. 
Maybe a spring here. And maybe one there too. He needs to not break it. So we'll need some reinforced... No, we have zero reinforced roads. Yeah, I think spring here. And then I think maybe this area needs to be like super strong metal. Okay, you see that? So he goes, and then the ambulance has to really put a lot of weight on it. Oh, he he flopped. He flopped a Maybe another springy? Okay, good. Now you have to cause it to fall. It's a lot of weight. We're distributing the weight. <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, we did it. Now, can we do it for a little bit less? Maybe less metal? Number one, now it is your turn, number two. Don't break the bridge. You didn't break the bridge, and we just saved $2,000 on our car insurance. Our bridge insurance. Look at that. Boom. Moving on to stowaway. Okay. This is cool. So, big semi-truck goes over, reaches here, this car comes off, and then has to make it up here. So we need to... Oh, I see how this works. He's gonna be a heavy boy, though. Oh, well, that's perfect. Okay. And does steel reach? Yes, it does. Huh. Well, it's gonna be tricky. No one said building bridges was easy. Especially when people aren't acting like normal drivers and they're like, Hey man, I'm gonna drive my semi-truck to that side of the bridge and then this little guy on the back is gonna go back the other way, so build it! But he's gotta get up on the flag on a second story building that's out in the middle of nowhere! Alright, so then we'll need hydraulic here, probably. And we'll need him to expand 50%. We'll need that broken. Unless we could... Well, I guess we have unlimited roads, right? But this guy's gonna be super heavy, like, I don't even know if this'll work. Okay, give it the old college try. Semi-truck breaks the bridge. He doesn't, he, he does, he does. He breaks it here. So we could try that to see if it works. If that can give it enough structure or does he, wow, okay. We might need reinforced road here. And we're pretty under budget at the moment. We added this little bit, structure. Okay, that works. Now this guy gets off. Oh, oh gosh, we almost have it. We almost do. Very, very close. We'll move the hydraulic here. Big boy makes it. Little boy's gotta make it. Oh, I have an idea. I have an idea. So we do a hydraulic here. It's a very small one, but now we're like not under budget. And we need him to contract by like 5%. 4%? 4%. Just don't break there. Did you not contract? Is that, is four? Oh, he made it though. Okay, we're counting our lucky stars and we're moving onwards. So now we made it all the way to Tranquil Oasis. We're doing 3-1 the loophole. All right, so this guy's got to get over here. Well, what happens? The plane flies by, so he'll break any bridge. I'm wondering, I'll have to do a curvy thing, right? He'll have to just ride this up and then ramp it? I think that's how it works. So we'll need to do all of our triangles to miss the plane. This is gonna be close. Oh my. <laughs> this looks so whack. That's a lot of weight going right there. Uh, it held and we did it and it broke. And we actually got fourth place for that? Really? That's crazy. And look, there's Blitz. Let's see if I can't save some dollars. <laughs> that didn't work. Ooh, he just wrecked into this whole thing. We saved even more dollars, but not near enough to get to third place. We're moving onwards. The Big Dipper, because we got to dip big. Now, we're doing springy bridges. Well, I mean, we have a budget of 60 freaking a thousand dollars, right? So I think the first thing we want to do is build our bridge. Now, we got to 
I guess I could do a steel arch, a double steeled arch, and then hold it via cables. That's an idea. And then we gotta do our angles. Uh-oh. Well, let's see if the steel... Oh, the steel arch is wobbly because there's no triangles. I could try wood. Even that doesn't reach. <laughs> this is so dumb. And look how much budget we're using. And now we need ropes. Wow, we're we're barely under budget. I don't think it's gonna hold. I I, I really do think it's gonna hold, and I, I never doubted it for a second. Don't don't break there. Oh my god, it didn't. It it broke. It broke. It it broke right here. Where was the breaking point? It didn't even mark the breaking point. We need one rope. Oh, we're still under budget. We're barely under budget. And this is with wood sticking there. I guess. Look, the wood holds. Let's speed this up. This thing is stupidly slow. Just make it up there and don't stop. Not once, not never. Okay, so that was a very weird bridge, but it did work. But we need to save a little bit of money, and I think the place to do it is here. Oh, yeah. We could actually probably lower the steel bridge on the top, and that would actually save us a lot of money, too. All right, so if we lower all of it, as long as it can keep its nice rounded shape. There we go, 55,000. Will it hold? It should. It's technically stronger than what we did the last time. And to get the third place is $33,000. Ah, that's not happening. And now we're on to compression. So both of these guys have to connect here. Okay. The way we can do it is I can have a bridge here. Yeah, because we don't have hydraulics. And then this guy's gonna have to use springs and use his weight to pull him down. I think that's the only way to do it. So this guy's gonna have to have an ar- $20,000? Wait a second. That's not good. What the heck? Cause think, think about this, right? We just want to connect there. All right, maybe it's not out as outlandish as I thought it was. And it's a very small map. I think it's deceptively small. And that uh, threw me off a little bit. So he needs to be able to hit it, but he's pretty tall. Okay, that should work. And then if we did... No, we're gonna need to lower this. Okay, yeah, so I need it here. Okay, I think, I think that's good. Now, I'm not expecting him to be too heavy. We might get a break on this one. Okay, let's see if the bottom one holds. Oh, he actually got stuck. Okay, that's good, that's good. But it shows you how heavy he is. Can you put springs in the middle of these? No, you can't without breaking the road. We still got a lot of money left. First, I gotta see if this will hold a truck, which it's questionable. Well, they both, they both connected there. They actually go about the same time. So there needs to just be the slightest flex here. I think I need to use steel, but then how do I afford it all? I use ropes from the top? All right, we're gonna see if this works. If we can get them both to barely touch it and then just make a strong bridge here. Here goes nothing. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Uh, <laughs> it actually worked. And we're really close to getting like a little bit more here. So get rid of some of these middle posts maybe. I don't know if this is a good idea. But if we can save money, then let's do it. Oh my God, we're, we're in third place. And we're almost in second. I wasn't expecting this to work. Am I glad it did? Absolutely. Wow, wow, wow. We're even close to first place now. Look at Blitz. The budget's 20,000, man. How are you doing 34,000? He's probably making some crazy inventions that are like blowing my mind. And I'm like, hey man, I built two bridges. <laughs> Doubling down. How do we double down? We've got a U-boat here. A and E both need to get here, but A needs to touch here, right? So we need some kind of a contraption that drops it right here, maybe. Let's see, does it give me any natural, if I dropped it here, beep, from above? How would we do that? I've got $37,000, so I don't have a ton of money. And then maybe like here. No, that'll be the flex point, right? I don't even know if that's like 
the proper terminology. Yes, here is where we shall put the flex point. Very nice. But what I could do is build a little bit of wood under, maybe. Would that be good? Honestly, this might. And we just need it to anchor there. We'll copy all that. And we're $7,000 under budget. Now we need to contract by 20%, maybe even less. All right. How do we do? Oh, wait. I did it wrong because <laughs> we have to get the stupid star. He has to get this, right? Hmm. And then there's a taxi cab. Maybe we build a jump? Well, first off, let's see if this... I wonder if that is even going to hold. He comes in hot. And he doesn't have the power to make it up. We do have springs, though. Okay, I, I see how this is going to work. We're going to have to create a jump situation. Okay, we finally got that part. Now the sub's like, hey, dude, nice bridge. And we're like, oh, man. So right after that, we need to have a hydraulic drop in a bridge of some sort. A ramp. Okay, I think I could do it. And we need him to contract by... Where does he... Where do we have the breaking point? All right. For fun, let's just see if it raises in the taxi cab. Can... That's a... <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I forgot he goes down. Oh wait, what? The taxi been under Savata, yeah? Okay, well how why why did you do that? Why did you break on? She's like, hey man, you know, just casually going. Oh we had a break. Well just so we don't have to come back, we gotta get rid of this break. So let's do that. That that's that's gotta work. That's just gotta work. Beep beep beep. And voila. Look at that. Very nice. It's a very weird bridge, but it works. Now we gotta save a little bit of money. <laughs> Semi slope. Uh, uh, this big old truck has to get all the way up there. All right. I'm thinking you do two. I'm, I'm gonna try it with wood first. Now, this is gonna be like the biggest filler we've done. I'm gonna do X's. But in some cases, it may not make sense. Here. Yeah, but then that's super weird. Now I can get to triangles, and then I gotta go back to X's. Because all my X's live in Texas. That's how the song goes. Then we're gonna have to do triangles. Do you think this will work? What if I did just one steel post and be like, what's up? Strength. It's a little off angle, though. Unless I delete it. This will probably be the ugliest bridge I've made. <laughs> but it will have to do. This semi-truck is gonna be so heavy, this whole thing's gonna come crumbling down. And all of this work will feel like it was for naught. And there's no symmetry, so you can't really, like, uh... Copy and paste. Okay, well that looks ugly. Let's try it. Where's it gonna break? Everywhere. Well, what we could try... ...is reinforced. And that really bumps our budget up, and it still breaks. We might just have to use steel. I used a little bit of steel there. I think steel's the way. Because this semi-truck has no clearance. It can't take any weird angles or probably any even, even any curves. So we'll try steel. Steel is what builds America. I'm wondering if I should... All right, so there's that steel undercarriage. Now, what if I put... A triangular overcarriage. Is that a word? It is now. There we go. We got the copy pasties in here. And we're over budget. But it is what it is. And it ain't what it ain't. And that looks a little rough right there. But if it holds... $71,000. We just went way, way, way over budget. Way, way, way over budget. I'm thinking the steel's like really, really good. And we may not need as much steel as we're using. We cut a little bit of the budget off, <laughs> and you can see, because everything dies. Wow. It went there. We're under budget. We're moving onwards. No breaks. Under budget. Worst place. It happens. We are doing a rock skipping? Okay, we've got 12 roads, so he's got a... Well, let's see where he lands first. Oh, look at that. 
What if we just made a stupid big ramp? That's what we're doing. That is my strategy. Hey, what do you want to do? I want to build a stupid big ramp. All right, we're not way under budget anymore. <laughs> but honestly, I think this ramp will work. All right. Ooh, drastically far away from it. Stupid big ramp is stupid. All right, where does he land here in the middle of these rocks? Like right there. Okay, so we gotta have our first road catch him here. This is like making line rider maps. See if it works and doesn't break. We might need springs. Ooh, he got it right in the face. <laughs> Woo! Okay, he makes it. Now we need, I think, like a two or three? It's just in a really tricky spot. What about that? Will it hold? There's just two steel beams. Kind of expensive. He breaks it. Can he clear that gap, please? Oh, <gasps> he does. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. It's so freaking beautiful. <laughs> we're at 17,000. I think we're, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. So we've got to catch him, like, right here. It's amazing how I'm like, I'm under budget! And then it's like, you are way over budget, Bob! Dude, I, I kind of wish I could be this dune buggy. Let's have a landing pad. Because he kind of comes in a little bit hot. Does that even work to hold it up? Oh. Kind of does, but it's it's probably a little too springy. Ha! We, we had a break, though. So we can't go through with a break, right? Maybe this one doesn't need to be spring. Or it could be a super little baby spring. No breakage. No breakage, no buyage. Well, thanks for watching episode three of Polybridge 2. Let me know if you guys want to see more, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.